back with another video. Now that Lineage OS is out for the Essential Phone, this guide is going to be showing you how to install the Lineage OS. Um, now, of course, you need to have your bootloader unlocked, um, so you'll need to do that first. Um, I'll leave the link to my guide on how to do that down in the description. Um, so let's get right into it. But first, huge shout out to Invisible K on getting this working and making this happen. Um, I'll leave the links down to the XDA form down in the description so you can give him a huge thanks. And if you need to follow any other um, information that he has there as far as download links, things like that, they're gonna be there in that thread. So let's get into it. You need to of course have ADB Fastboot set up. Um, we are going to boot into Fastboot here, um, which will, of course, we are going to be wiping the data on the phone itself. So let's go ahead and do ADB devices, make sure that the phone is being recognized. Great. ADB reboot bootloader as always. And so we can see here my bootloader is unlocked. We're going to need to download the, the Lineage OS ROM, and we also need to download the TWRP recovery. Um, so what we're going to be doing first is actually um, wiping data, and that is with fastboot-w, erasing user data. That's going to take a minute. Again, I am not responsible if you brick your device or cause any other sort of damage to your phone neither is BMG or Invisible K. This more than likely will uh, void your warranty, just as a uh, disclaimer there. You also need to make sure that you are running the latest essential update, um, the NMJ32F. Um, of course, this uh, by the time this releases, there may be another update, um, so just make sure that you are on the latest update, that way you do not run into any issues. All right, so wiping data has been completed, and I've already downloaded the Lineage uh, OS ROM here, and also have the TWRP recovery. We're gonna be flashing the recovery to the boot image. Um, that's different because of the AB partitions um, and just how these newer uh, Android versions and uh, systems work. So what we're gonna be doing is fast boot flash boot twrp dash mate underscore six dot image make sure that you are typing this in properly otherwise you are going to get an error all right so we are being recognized as you can see there's some sort of error couldn't load it um, so let's go ahead and try that one more time fast boot flash boot twrp dash mate underscore six dot image all right it's not working all right for some reason that was odd it wasn't liking how the the file name was so I just renamed it to twrpph um, so that way it's not going to be interfering with my other twrpph1 um, recovery that I did in my previous video on how to root. Alright, so now we're going to be going and booting into uh, recovery mode now that we've flashed um, the recovery. Alright, here we are. Never showed that. And again, touch is working fantastic. Now what we're going to be doing is actually uh, pushing the uh, Lineage OS ROM to the phone using ADB. And just to make the, the typing a little easier, um, I would recommend just renaming your Lineage OS download to just Lineage OS. That way you don't have to type out all of the, the, the characters here. So ADB, push, and then we're going to need to type the, the zip name or the name of the, the file. So Lineage OS.zip space slash SD card slash. So it's now transmitting the file to the internal storage of the essential phone. It's gonna take a minute. All right, that is done. 
So now, just like any other ROM, we're gonna actually go over to install, and there is our Lineage OS zip. Um, so one thing to note, this has pre-built in um, open gaps and nano. Um, so you don't have to flash open gaps after you install this. That's nano is just gonna be just a Google Play Store, Google Play Services, just the essentials, no pun intended, um, to get this working. That way you can sign into your Google account and then from there you can install additional apps that you may want. So you're gonna go ahead and just click on um, the zip, confirm to flash. We'll wait for that to install. That's gonna take a minute, so we'll be right back. All right, so the installation of Lineage OS is done. This is what it'll look like, just step one, step two, partition details, we're done. So now all you have to do is just go ahead and reboot the phone. Now a couple things, um, so this is still unofficial of course, um, this, these are early builds so expect some some slight bugs, um, one being 360 camera is not going to work if that will ever work, so just, uh, just know that. Um, and I'll probably be doing a separate video on just uh, the overall performance and the system itself if any bugs I find. I'll be doing a separate video on that, so stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. So here we can see the Lineage OS boot animation. I will also be doing a separate video in the fu near future on um, how to revert back to stock um, essential uh, firmware, basically. So in case, let's say you mess up, um, let's say you run into any issues, um, let's say you bricked your device, um, something's not right and you just want to go back for maybe warranty related issues um, or because Essential comes out with a new update such as Oreo and you want to go back and try that out you'll be able to uh, do uh, follow that guide so stay tuned for that as well all right so it is finally finished booting up we'll go through the setup set up as new we won't connect or do anything I just want to make sure this gets through the setup all right some lineage OS stuff and here we are we are all set 7.1.2 and we have a October security patch right there. Got all the buttons, things like that. Fantastic. Well, there you go, guys. There's your lineage basic launcher. There's the stock camera app. You'll have to probably sideload the, um, the essential camera app. I'm um, onto this, but again, that's uh, another video for another day. So here we are, Lineage OS running on the Essential phone. Fantastic! It's I can already tell um, that smooth, slow scrolling is not here. Um, if you've seen a previous video of mine, um, and also probably read elsewhere, um, that there's like a slow stuttering bug still that Essential needs to fix and address. Um, Lineage OS does not have that here. Um, looks, I mean, of course, I don't have any apps installed or running, of course, but um, everything looks to be to running fat uh, to be running smoothly. Um, now, another thing, this does support OTA updates um, via the Lineage Updater, so you will be able to install future updates here in the Lineage OS Updater app, which will work fine because of the AB partition which is very, very uh, great to see. Thank you all for watching another one of my videos. Hit that subscribe button and like. Also, finally, again, one final shout out to BMG and Invisible K for making all of this possible. Um, they're gonna be the pioneers of the, the ROM and developer community for the Essential phone. Hopefully Essential can follow suit and uh, make the device even better in future updates. Thank you all for watching comment, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.